Recently at a historical reenactment, I was asked about silk threads and which colors were historically accurate. But before I get into discussing about which silk threads were historically accurate in the 16th century, make sure to select thumbs up that you like the video. If you have questions during the video, please post them in the comments below. And as always, please click subscribe to be updated when new videos come out. So welcome to my discussion today on silk thread colors for the 16th century. I'm primarily going to focus on black work embroidery. However, these silk thread colors could be used for other types of embroidery during this time period. So what colors were used? Well, with that, that depends on what the item was that you were embroidering. Depending on what you were embroidering, colors that were used were black, brown, red, blue, green, and possibly yellow. These are two samplers. On the left-hand side is an Italian embroidered sampler, and you can see it's pretty much just all done in a brown silk thread. On the bottom right side is an English sampler from about 1598. This is Jane Bostock's sampler. And with it, you can see there are greens, there are reds. If you look closely, you can even find some blue as well as some black. So if you notice, these samplers have color in them. Here are some more examples. On the left-hand side, there are three pictures, and this is from a booklet of embroidery and drawn work. It's Portuguese from about the early 17th century. And here you can see green, you can see red. And then in the bottom picture, it looks sort of like a yellowish brown color. On the right-hand side is a, an Italian sampler. And this one is from about the late 16th century. And you can see it has red, it has green. If you're noticing a theme here, samplers during this time period have color, mostly. On the left-hand side is an Italian sampler. This one's also from the 16th century. And on the top, you can see it has blue, then it has some green, and near the bottom, it has green worked in with red. And on the right-hand side is an English panel of black work from somewhere between 1580 and 1620. And this one has just black silk thread. So if you've noticed the theme here, most samplers during the 16th century have color. However, if you are going to be embroidering something that is going to be worn, such as a, a garment with like the collar around the neck, the cuffs around the wrist, sleeves, a smock, a coif, anything that you will be wearing typically was done in black silk thread. On the left-hand side is a zoomed-in picture of the neck area of Isabella of Spain. And this painting was from about 1500 to 1504. In the middle is an English smock from about 1575 to 1585. And on the right-hand side is the collar of Lady Margaret Butts. And this painting was from about 1541 to 1543, and it's English. So like I said, if you notice in the samplers, there were lots of color and very little black lots of blues, greens, reds, but with clothing, it tended to be black silk thread that was the favorite item. Here are some more examples. On the top left-hand side is a painting that's called The Portrait of a Young Merchant. It's from about 1541. Underneath that is The Portrait of a Lady. It's English from about 1536 to 1540. And I've zoomed in on her cuffs. In the middle is a portrait of a young woman. Um, this is Netherlandish, and it's from about 1535. And you can see some black work up here around the collar, as well as down on her sleeves and on the cuffs. On the right-hand side is a portrait of a boy with a marmoset. And again, I've zoomed in around the collar. One thing to note with this painting, it is labeled as portrait of a boy with a marmoset. However, if you look up Edward VI, a lot of times you will find portrait, this portrait of him being associated with Edward VI. Um, Edward VI was the one and only legitimate son of King Henry VIII of England. 
This painting is from about 1532 to 1535. And more examples of black silk thread on clothing in the 16th century. On the top left-hand side is a portrait of a lady. It's Italian from about 1520. Underneath that is, a, if you study any kind of black work embroidery, this painting is usually one that will pop up a lot. And it is of Jane Seymour. She was the third wife of Henry VIII. And so it's English, it's from about 1536. And I've zoomed in on the cuffs. Again, you can see it's white linen with black silk thread. In the middle is, it's a miniature that I've enhanced. It's of Mrs. Jane Small and it's English from about 1536. I've enhanced the collar to show the black work around her neck. And on the right hand side is a portrait of Lady Dacre. Dacre. Sorry if I mispronounced that, please correct me in the comments below. But this painting is from about 1540. And if you look closely, she has black work around her cuffs as well as around her collar. Again, black work, black silk thread on white linen. But that wasn't always the case. This is Bess of Hardwick. And I believe she had four husbands during her lifetime and each marriage helped her move up in the what, the hierarchical food chain of England. And as you can see with Bess, if you look um, around her collar, her sleeves, this is all done in red. It is still black work embroidery, which is also known as like double running stitch or Holbein stitch. And the reason why it can also be referred to as Holbein stitch is because many of these paintings are either done by Hans Holbein or Hans Holbein the Younger. But this portrait, it is unusual because she has black work done in red, also known as red work. And this particular painting, it is English and it's from about 1550. If you have any questions or would like to pull up any of these paintings for yourself, this is my Works Cited page. And my Works Cited page continued. Thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video and would like to watch more of my videos, please follow the links on the left hand side. Remember to select thumbs up that you like the video. If you have questions or comments, please post them in the comments below. And as always, please click subscribe to be updated when new videos come out.